so I know it's been quite some time since the last time I posted on here, but that's besides the point, so let's get right into this video. Okay, so we're here with Carney at the Silverglade Equestrian Center, um, so let's see what he has to say. Do you know what? Could you get me a shoot from one of the grapevines as well? We'll perform tests on that too. Use these garden shears. I asked Sonia to look, but she couldn't find any. Okay, so cut off a shoot from the grapevines and go back to Carney. So, okay, wait, hold on. Where are we going? Looks like over here. Okay, I see it. Oh, okay. There we go. And let's head back up to him. That's it. Thank you, Brooklyn. You've been so helpful. Alright, it looks like Judy over here has something for us, so let's see what she has to say. Here are some tools that you can use to fix the leaky pipes. Dang, okay, it looks like we're going to do all of their work for them today. <laughs> Okay, and here's the last one. Okay, perfect. Let's head back to Judy now. Okay, great. Let's hope that the pipes don't need fixing for a while. We've got other more important things to do. Oh boy, okay. Ooh, report to the Baroness. You did a great job on the pipes, Brooklyn. The Baroness herself was here earlier and complained about the leaks. She will be absolutely thrilled that you fixed them. You know what? You should go over to the castle and tell her. Then you'll get a chance to introduce yourself. The Baroness is a really useful person to know around you. If you're ever in trouble, she will help you or she will be able to help you with almost anything. If you make a good impression on her, that is. Okay, so it looks like she's not at the castle. She's like right over here. Good day, my dear. And who might you be? Brooklyn? Oh, you work in the stable, I see. I'm delighted to hear that you fixed the leaks and that you sent the grapevines off to be analyzed. Very good indeed. I'm afraid you'll have to be off now, though, since I have a lot of work to get through. I'm a little stressed out at the moment, as you might be able to tell. Can you help? Well, I'm sure you can't help any more than you already have, my dear. These are some big issues I'm dealing with right now. I'm sure you've already heard about the construction company doing their best to destroy my land, global energy domination. Have you ever heard such a fat-headed, ridiculous name? They actually started drilling for oil next to my vineyards. Now our upcoming harvest will be poorer than ever. Oh my, I feel like a terrible evil has come to this island. Oh boy. So, she got added to our journal, but it looks like we're going to have to wait until tomorrow to continue this quest line. Alright, and staying in Silverglade, we're over with Steve at Steve's farm, so let's see what he has to say. Now you just need to do one more thing for me. Can you please place this very smelly cheese as bait in the traps? Good. That will solve the problem for me until my cat returns. Hurry up and save my farm! Oh, and it looks like we get a shirt from this quest as well. Okay, let's see. There's one cheese. Two.
All right, now that we're all done with that, let's see. Well done. I hope this will end the mouse invasion and save the farmhouse. I still wonder what's going on underground during the night. That may be the reason for the mouse invasion, but I can't look into that now. Okay, let's try on this new shirt. Ooh, that's a very pretty purpley color. I might wear that instead of the pink vest. It looks pretty good. Okay, and I see that we have a quest over here by this brown pen, so let's see what Maeve has to say. Hey Brooklyn, are you interested in trying out lunching? It's a great way to train and bond with Night River. Sometimes I do this before lessons to give my horse a chance to warm up and let go of some extra energy. It can also be an alternative to riding when it comes to exercising a horse. In fact, lunging is often used for young horses to learn cues and build muscles before being ridden for the first time. Horses don't miraculously walk in circles around us, no. We want, or we have to give them correct cues so they understand what to do. If we want them to increase in gait, we have to prompt them to do so. If we want them to take bigger circles around us, we lengthen the lunging line a little bit and ask the horse to move out with our body language and voices. Do you want to give it a try and see how it goes? Let's do it! Okay. Let's start by prompting your horse to transition into walk. Well done, your horse is listening to you beautifully. Now take a little bit bigger circle by letting out more line. Beautiful, alright, prompt the horse to go into trot. Let even more line out so Night River can take wider circles. This is going well. Oh, did you see that? It's common that horses tend to switch gates or change the route a little bit. This is a reminder that when lunging, you always have to stay focused to ensure that you give enough cues so the horse knows what to do. Otherwise, they might just simply come to a halt. Now, why don't you prompt the horse to go back into trot? You and Night River work beautifully together. Now why don't we tighten the circle a little bit and let your horse walk. You're a natural. Let's wrap up for now, but don't forget to give Night River a treat for a job well done. Okay, that was pretty good. I like that Star Stable is incorporating sort of like new ways to engage with your horse in the game. That went well, didn't it? When you want to lunge your horse, just come to me. Successful lunging le sessions can improve your horse's fitness and the bond between the two of you. Okay, perfect. And it looks like this is replayable, so you can play it however many times you want. Okay, and right next to Sieb's farm, there's this person tied next to a giant arena, and he has a frog named Crocosaur, which is quite interesting. So let's see what he has to say. The name's Ty, and jumping is my thing. With a horse, I mean, I don't run about randomly jumping. But if you like doing that, who am I to judge? Jump away! I've made a fool of myself, haven't I? Can we start again? Hey stranger, have you ever wished for a track to promise gymnastic jumping before you hit the serious stuff? Well, you've come to the right place. Or a person. I'm talking about me! Ever since I came to Yorvik for riding camp, all I wanted was a place to practice some epic jumps without the fear of embarrassment when I inevitably fly off the horse. Feels like I've been in Norvik forever. So you get where I'm coming from. Seems like fate brought us together. No way, Dean. Anyway, I've put together two gymnastic jumping exercises, and I'd be honored if you'd try them out. I'd be delighted. Welcome to the first of my gymnastic jumping exercises. If you're new to jumping or a seasoned professional, this track covers all the basics to warm you and your horse up for the real deal. Okay, here we go.
Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's see what Ty has to say now. You aced it! How did you do that? You know, not go flying off Night River. I guess I have some practicing to do. Time to raise the stakes. Are you ready for a gymnastic jumping exercise designed with help from an expert jumper? I'm talking about my frog friend Crocosaur. Of course. Okay, that one was a bit harder than the other one. I didn't quite know where I was going, but it's okay. If this was the Eurovision Jumping Grand Nationals, you'd be going home with the gold. But it's not so... or I don't have a prize planned. Hold on. I have a sugar cube for Night River. Add a horsey. Okay, that one was... Those two races were actually pretty fun, so I might be coming back to do those in the future. Alright, and that is going to wrap up this video. Um, thank you so much for watching, even though we just kind of did a bunch of random quests around Silver Glade. It's still fun to do, and we uh, unlocked a few new races, which is very fun. And we also learned how to launch, so that was something new for me. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed, and can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!